Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Sahib Kareem Khan and I'm a management consultant and trainer by profession. And today the book that I would like to share with you is a very interesting read. Uh, and if you are someone who's working in, in leadership position, you probably have read this book and the book is Good to Great uh, by Jim Collins. A very interesting book. It talks about how good organizations become great and it talks about the research part as to how he thinks that good organizations over decades became great. Uh, and this book's beautiful thing is that it also gives us a model. It talks about the five levels of leadership. Uh, so what are those five uh, levels of leadership? Because the very five le uh, levels of leadership sort of challenge our definition of leadership as well. So, so very quickly, uh, what are those five levels? Uh, so as per Jim Collins, the level one leader are the highly capable individuals. So uh, what do they do? Uh, makes productive contributions through talent, knowledge, skills and good work habits. Remember, level one and it's highly capable individual. Level two leader are contributing team members. So contributes individual capabilities to the achievement of group objectives and works effectively with others in a group setting. So level one leader, if you are highly capable individual, you already are level one leader. When you start contributing to the team, you become level two leader. Now what is level three? Level three leader is a competent manager. And what are the responsibilities of a competent manager? Uh, Jim Collins says that organizes people and resources towards the effective and efficient pursuit of predetermined objectives. So that is the role of, of a manager. That is level three. Now what is level four leader? Level four leadership is effective leader. And what is the job of an effective leader? Uh, catalyzes commitment to and vigorous pursuit of a clear and compelling vision, stimulating higher performance standards. So remember, what is he saying? Uh, the role of a leader on level four is of a catalyst. So unka kaam ye hota hai, a catalyst ka ke wo us process ko enhance karta hai, improve karta hai, jo organization ko uske vision ke nazdik leke jati hai. And level five leader, level five executive, wo kya karta hai ji? Builds enduring greatness through a paradoxical blend of personal humility and professional will. Level 5 leader, the topmost level of leadership has two qualities, humility and iron will. So food for thought. Uh, those of you who are leaders, who want to lead organizations, if you want to be a level 5 leader, you need to have this, this combination of iron will and humility. Normally humility is considered, is not considered as a strength. But guess what? This is a level five leader's strength. So think about it. Uh, on which level of leadership are you at this point in time? And what are you doing every single day to make sure that you are growing as well as your team is growing? So with this food for thought, thank you very much. And do share this video with anyone who you think would benefit from it.